Welcome back to Tech Targets. We all know Java is one of the popular and dominant programming language. In this video, I will show you the new features of Java 19. Yes, Java 19, which was released in 20 September 2022. By the way, if you are new to this channel or not a subscriber yet, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button now and follow me on Twitter. Let's dig into details. Java 19 released with a quite lot of performance stability and security updates along with that. There are dozens of new features and enhancements. However, notably the following are the most significant Java 19 features. That's record patterns. Let me let me take this okay so let's record patterns preview linux risk 5 or sq portability foreign functions and memory api virtual threads preview vector api fourth incubator pattern matching for switch third preview and structured concurrency incubator let's see what are these features okay so the features let's see the description level let's take it take this pen so first one is a record pattern preview so it enables users to nest record patterns and type patterns to create powerful declarative and composable form of data navigation and processing this extends pattern matching to allow for more sophisticated and composable data queries. There is a lot of words. Bear with me. So other one is Linux Risk V. So portability. This is about the architecture portability. Okay. What it does is sets the stage for easier Linux Risk V implementations by integrating this port portability into JDK mainline repository. Then we have foreign functions and memory API. That's a preview. So if you are um, aware of JNI, this is another added advantage for this. So what it will do? Enable Java programs to more easily interoperate with code and data outside the Java runtime by efficiently invoking foreign functions. I that's example code outside the Java virtual machine. It's a JVM by safely accessing foreign memory that's again memory is not managed by JVM so that's a foreign uh, memory okay and this API is enable Java programs to call native libraries and process native data via a pure Java development model this results in increased easy of use performance flexibility and safety so this is exactly like a JNI. However, it is much easier version of JNI. Okay. And then we have a vector API. That's fourth incubator. What it what it does is the color matches with this. Okay. So enable superior performance compared to equivalent scalar computations by expressing vector computations that reliably compile at runtime to vector instructions on supported CPU architecture. Then we have virtual threads. That's preview. Um, what it does dramatically reduces the effort of writing, maintaining and observe, observing the high throughput concurrent application by introducing lightweight virtual threads to java platform using virtual threads allows developers to easily troubleshoot debug and profile concurrent applications with the existing jdk tools and techniques okay then we have a patterns matching for switch third preview um, what it does it enables pattern matching for switch expressions and statements by permitting an expressions to be tested against a number of patterns. This allows users to express complex data oriented queries concisely and safely. And, and the last one, not the least, structured concurrency. 
this is the incubator mode so um, it goes what it does streamlines error handling and cancellation improves reliability and enhances observability by simplifying multi-threaded programming and treating multiple tasks running in different threads as a single unit of work so these are the most notable features on uh, of java 19 so thank you for your time i'll see you in the next video with another interesting topic